Hey, what is up guys? David here from Phone Buff, and in this video, we're gonna be doing what it looks like and doing a durability test on the HTC One. We actually have a couple of tests we're gonna be doing. One is the key test, which is probably the most practical or most realistic out of this whole test. We're also gonna be doing a knife scratch and stab test to see how tough the screen and also the actual body of the phone is. And then finally, we're gonna be doing a hammer drop or mallet drop test to see how much resistance the screen could take. And also maybe we'll slam it on the back a couple of times to see you know, how it fares. So with that said, let's go ahead and begin with the easiest test out of the three, or at least what seems to be the easiest test. And that's the key scratch test to see you know, what's gonna to happen to the screen. So we'll actually turn off the display and I'll show you the display right now. No scratches or anything like that, a couple of fingerprints you might be able to see, but for the most part, it's pretty much perfect condition. So let's go ahead and actually wipe this off really quick and start the scratch test. So got a key right here. I'm gonna be doing these rough edges right here, scratching it all across the screen, so. And I'm gonna be applying quite a bit of pressure because I know this screen has Gorilla Glass and Gorilla Glass is really, really good at resisting scratches like this. In fact, they're actually built to resist scratches like key. So I expect it to pass this test. And uh, looking at it, you can see no doubt. I mean, I don't even have to wipe it off. Usually I have to wipe it off. Nothing here. This is Gorilla Glass 2. Uh, we'll try it on the back though. This is what I'm actually more interested about because knowing that the screen has Gorilla Glass, I expected that, you know. But on the back, I want to see how this uh, full metal body actually handles scratches because, yeah, the phone's beautiful, but, you know, will it be able to survive or, you know, not get damaged? without a case so I don't know if, if you guys can see that but there is a whole bunch of little scratch marks on the back we're gonna go ahead and try to wipe it off so get this microfiber cloth and uh, they do wipe off it seems like uh, some residue there let's see if I can rub it off with my finger yeah so I guess my finger has the magic touch because all of it went away. So, first scratch test, you know, with the key, I'd say it's a pass. You know, the screen passed with flying colors. Obviously, the screen still works. We didn't put any kind of real pressure on here to make it crack or anything like that. So, scratch test with the key is a pass. Let's go ahead and bring out this humongous kitchen knife. So, again, we'll uh, try the screen. And what we're going to do here, actually, is also test these fine edges over here um, on the HTC One, these fine finished edges, because it's similar to what it was on the iPhone 5, and I remember when I did the iPhone 5 test, it did actually sustain a, quite a few scratches here, so first we'll do the screen, so, and I am applying pressure, I'm not, you know, scared to put pressure on it. I actually have a lot of trust in Gorilla Glass, I've tested Gorilla Glass quite a bit in my time, and, alright, so, that should be enough punishment for now, and again, uh, I don't really see anything, I mean, I don't see anything in person, and on camera, nothing's obviously showing. We'll go ahead and try to clean this off, see if that does anything. And yeah, I mean, it looks beautiful, 100% perfect. So we'll go ahead and test the back. So this is, again, the one that I'm much more interested in. And let's do a little bit of stabbing. Actually, we'll, we'll do the stabbing after. So... Again, you can see there is scratches on the back, and uh, you know I'd be pretty bummed out if I saw this on my phone. Go ahead and try to wipe it off. And the microfiber cloth doesn't seem to do the job. It seems like I actually lick my finger a little to get some moisture and uh, rub it off with my finger. And now these scratches are definitely a lot deeper, actually, and it doesn't seem like it's actually coming off. So try to really rub them off here. The, actually, they're some of these. They're really light, and there you go. I think you can see that with that angle. Um, they're really, really light scratches, but they're not coming off. Um, I'll go ahead and try to rub it off a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I mean, you you definitely could see them. Not from a distance, obviously. I, I can't see them from here, but when I look up close with my eye, I can actually see them. So I, I think yeah, there you go. So you can see it right there. Those scratches are not coming off. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful phone, but if you drop it and get some scratches on here, it might not come off. Uh, light scratches, like with keys, shouldn't be an issue. So if you throw it in your pocket or purse with some keys, probably won't be an issue. But like I said, you could see those scratches. And uh, I'll try to wipe it off later more. I mean, it doesn't look like it's actually going to wipe off. It looks like they're pretty per permanent. 
uh, as far as that knife test goes. Obviously, you're not going to slash your phone with a knife, hopefully. So, uh, not that big of an issue, but definitely something to consider. So now let's go to maybe the most exciting test, which is the mallet smashing time. So uh, we'll go ahead and take this guy and start smashing the screen to see, you know, if we could take, you know, moderate pressure. Obviously, like I said, if you drop this thing on the floor face down from like five feet up, it's going to crack. I mean, any glass is going to crack. So we want to see what it does with this thing. So All right, so you could hear how loud that was because obviously I was applying a bunch, a bunch of pressure, but screen's still working. Let's go ahead and clean it off, see if uh, that left any kind of residue, but no, the screen looks perfect. So, so far from the test that we've done, uh, only real damage is, again, these light, light scratches. So, uh, actually, I forgot, I actually skipped the uh, side scratch. So I wanna scratch these little fine edges over here, so. And oh yeah. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Let's try to get a better angle. So you can see those scratches there. And yeah, those things are not coming off. So it's just like the iPhone, I mean, it looks really, really nice, but it is prone to scratching. Uh, this part at least. So, Gorilla Glass screen, actually really good when it comes to uh, scratch resistance. Obviously it's not scratch proof. And uh, what actually ends up scratching these more usually is uh, elements that are harder than the screen itself, like sand or something like that. I might do a test like that in the future if you guys want. Um, but for just regular scratches, if you drop it on the, on, on the floor, the screen is gonna be good. The back might get scratched up. It's pretty resistant. Uh, but if you get a, a kitchen knife like this, then yeah, and it applies as much pressure as I did, you'll get some light, light scratches. And then, like I said, on these edges, um, you're bound to see some scratches. Actually, what I'll try to see is how vulnerable it is by doing the key. So the key, you know, shouldn't be that bad. All right, so you can see the markings on, on this part, but I think that wipes off. Yeah, so it wipes off and... I don't really see anything. Actually, no, I do. Yep, even with the key, uh, you can see scratches here on the edges. So, you know, it's a beautiful phone. I would love to uh, hold it or use it without a case, but maybe a case is worth investing in because it can get scratched up, uh, especially along these edges because it scratches pretty easily. The back is pretty scratch resistant and the front, the glass, it's pretty good. But Anyways, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful or if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, I might be doing a destruction, destruction video or more videos like this on the HTC One if you guys want to see them. Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, thank you for watching.